if you admire developed countries, are interested in different foods and cultures, want a little history and nightlife, and most importantly, want to get to know a country where people are very friendly, a perfect video is waiting for you. Let's face it, it is not as developed as Japan, but it's definitely a place everyone should see at least once in their life, people, temples, squares, restaurants, and more. This state, officially defined as the Republic of Korea, is ethnically dispersed throughout the country. There is strong national unity in this country, dominated by conservatives, in other words. Almost the entire population of Korea consists of Koreans. In terms of religion, although most of the society in Korea does not have any belief, Christianity is at the forefront among the heavenly religions. Historically, the struggles with North Korea that started in the early 1950s turned into mutual war after a while. It quickly gained an international dimension. In fact, North Korea and South Korea were once a single country. They split in 1910. And from then on Japan supported North Korea and South Korea became even weaker. They were occupied by North Korea in the 1950s. However, thanks to the support of the United Nations, they managed to preserve their existing lands. However, today there are still military forces between the borders of the two countries. In order to ensure a permanent military force, military service is carried out in the country for two years. There are even people who dropped out of university and joined the military. You may even come across Korean young people in their 20s wearing military uniforms while visiting cities. So even in 2023, they could not make peace with North Korea. Let's come to South Korea from today. South Korea is one of the 20 most developed countries in the world today. Their largest city is the capital Seoul, with a population of 10 million. There are approximately 520 kilometers of metro network lines. And 400 stations in this city, the longest metro in terms of environment, I can say line. All of these subways have high-speed internet for passengers to spend time on. They also own giant brands that have expanded to the global world, such as Samsung, Kia, LG, and Hyundai, thanks to these brands. They are achieving great success in the technology and automotive markets today. In short, they produce and earn. In fact, they owe some of this development to the USA. In the 90s, Koreans immigrated to the USA, which they admired, and received their master's and doctoral degrees there. After all, the USA was the best country in their eyes and they were dying to go there. So, in a way, they were like sympathizers, willingly or unwillingly. When they finished their studies, they wanted to stay there permanently. But they realized that the United States was no longer the country that helped and welcomed them like it used to. From that moment on, South Koreans returned to their country, taking all their knowledge and experience with them, and decided to make their country as strong as the USA, which they envied. As a result, today we have the most doctors per capita, the longest subway lines, the best technology, and a country with automotive companies. Let's say you decide to go to South Korea. Fortunately, you will not have any visa problems. You can travel without a visa for up to 90 days. This is actually one of the best reasons to go to this country. You feel that comfort as soon as you get off the plane. The country is beautiful and has friendly people. But the food is not to our taste. I think you will like Korean barbecue. As you know, Korean barbecue is cooking meat on a barbecue but it's pretty delicious. They usually use pork or beef, and pork is more expensive. When it comes to food, they can eat anything you can think of. Alive or dead, it doesn't matter. Especially eating live octopus has become very popular in recent years. The reason is that it is both healthy and increases adrenaline. However, the number of Koreans who choke while eating live octopus is more than 20 every year. Their national drink is a vodka-like drink made from rice called soju, 
Since it has 20% alcohol content, it is drunk in shot glasses. Because he hits the men very badly. Since Koreans' houses are small, people who leave work throw themselves into the streets and go to drink this drink. So this is a bit of a drunken country. You can often come across musical parties in Seoul, where this drink is consumed until sunrise. Meanwhile, a man who remains standing after drinking is seen as strong and attractive by South Korean women. In addition, women dazzle with their clothing and accessories. Also, both men and women are very shy. Their faces turn red, even when you ask a simple question. Apart from drinking, people also like to watch Anim. It is one of the countries that popularized the Anim film series industry in the world. On the other hand, a child born in South Korea is considered one year old. In other words, they are born as if they were one year older than us, no matter what you say about the age. They are not convinced and accept every child born as one year old. They also find it harmful to learn the gender of the child before birth, because in South Korea, abortion cases occur frequently when there is no son. For this reason, the state has imposed a ban on this issue. It is one of the countries with the highest suicide rate. 27 out of every 100,000 people committed suicide. I would like to draw your attention to the fact that suicide rates are quite high in developed countries. The reasons for this are debatable. But it has always seemed interesting to me. Maybe financial power doesn't bring ultimate happiness. Maybe after a while, a person gets bored of having achieved everything and finds life meaningless. But actually, they are just as afraid of death. For example, in most places they do not use the number four because they believe it evokes death. You cannot see the number four in apartment buildings, elevators, or even row numbers. Both South Koreans and Japanese are very fond of such superstitions. I hope you have the chance to see this friendly community and experience its atmosphere, even if only for a short time. We would be happy if you subscribe to our channel and like our video. Goodbye.